It's going to be important to do Baradin Hold every single week in Cataclysm, as you can get yourself either epic PvP items or tier 11 normal items. You should make sure to split your raid into two separate parties with equal amount of members and at least one tank and a couple of healers. The reason why it's going to be important to be in two groups with a tank in each is because once in a while he will also do a meteor slash. This will deal almost 500,000 damage and it will be split between the different raid members. Therefore, it's also necessary to be stacked in a group or your tank will be one shot. Once you're being hit by meteors less, you will also be left with a debuff that increases your fire damage taken by 100%. So if you end up being hit by meteors less two times in a row, some of you will definitely end up dying. The good thing is that this debuff only lasts for 20 seconds. So meanwhile, the other group should be tanking and soaking the damage. And once your group doesn't have the debuff, you simply want to make sure that your tank is also taunting the boss. Once in a while, he will also be casting Consuming Darkness. On 10-man mode, it will hit 3 people. On 25-man mode, it will hit 10 people. Therefore, some of the healers should also prioritize dispelling these as quickly as possible until they can get back to healing. Another important mechanic to be aware of is Fell Firestorm. Random fireballs will be flying through the air until they land on the ground. This will leave fell flame and if you stand in the flame, you're simply taking a lot of damage. So the whole raid group should be running around to avoid damage. And remember, the boss is channeling the fell firestorm, therefore you don't have to pay attention to meteor slash. But right after this, you have to go back to your positions to get ready for the next meteor slash, or you will most likely end up wiping. The last thing you gotta be aware of is that there's a berserker. If you don't kill the boss within 5 minutes, he's going to berserk and you're probably going to end up dying within a couple of seconds. I hope you found this video useful. If so, then please consider giving it a like, as it can also reach out to more people that way and hopefully increase our chance of killing this boss.